Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. Now, unless you're a super duper unicum, then no doubt many of you out there sometimes, like me, struggle in certain tanks, such as the Leo 1. Now let's cut to the chase. The Leo 1 is not an easy tank to play. In fact, it takes quite a bit of skill. It certainly takes understanding of the maps and you need to know the strengths and weaknesses of the tank. The Leo has very poor armour. In fact, almost everything will pen you out breaking into a sweat. Now that doesn't mean you can't bounce the occasional shell, because you certainly can, but that's more the exception rather than the rule. So if you're not a super duper unicorn, what is the trick to playing this tank? Well, I generally find that with the Leo, patience is the key. You need to pick your moment. I see many players rush headlong into forward positions only to end up in the garage sooner rather than they expected. Now, in this game, I will try to use the strengths of the Leo to my advantage. I got those early spots and I basically ran away to a kind of secure position. Now I'm using its incredibly accurate gun to farm the enemy. And this is the thing about the Leo. Now, okay, I've already had a little bit of aggro from one of my teammates. But I've already done 1200 damage and I've already done some spots. Now I've got a T57 Tireless pushing me. Bless him, he's out on a lurch. He's going to get a clip into me, not a problem. I can weather his clip unless he sort of sets me on fire or something. And down he goes. Thing now is, I know there's a grill in the corner, so I'm going to relocate. I'm now going to pick my moment. They've lost two tanks. One of them is 57 Heavy. I can see they've still got their their mediums up here so this is the moment i need to relocate and get round and help out actually on the front line so to speak so here's the wz and we're going to put one into him he's struggling with the object but we're going to finish him off and that's another that's one of their mediums down that allows me to now push up and try and get a better position to farm a bit more damage that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's a 60 TP over in the corner. It wasn't a grill, by the way. It was the 60 TP. And there's a VK. Plus, we've got the Jaeger roof sat on the TD spot. Now, the VK, um, that's a bad shot. But if he stays in this position, just rocking backwards and forwards, I will be able to farm him. It's as simple as that. Now, my tune mate is over there. And here we go. We're just farming using the gun of the Leo from a position of relative safety and we've moved around the map when we needed to we have taken our time and that's what you need to be looking at doing with a leo because if you frontline it i mean look how accurate this gun is i mean it's fantastic let's be honest and this is what the strengths of the tank are it has massive weaknesses of course it does it has that lack of armor but it's got great mobility and a super accurate gun and a pretty decent spotting range so you need to look at that guys when playing this tank don't front line it simple you're not gonna win majority of the brawls you need to bide your time and you need to move it from there and then you will find out that the leo is actually quite a nice tank to play like i did in this game yeah, I'm not setting the world on fire here. I mean, I'm doing 4,320 damage, but 4,320 damage and, you know, three kills. I'm very, very happy with that in the Leo. I got a second class, which again isn't, you know, it's not setting the world on fire, but it's enough. And it was enough for us to win the game. And that is how I play the Leo one. Anyway, let me have your comments and thoughts and everything below because I'd love to know what you have to think about the Leo 1. So now I'm going to move on to another tricky tank, that of the French collector in tier 10, the AMX 30B. Now a lot of people struggle in this tank and to be honest with you, much like the Leo, this is a difficult tank. It really is. It's not as easy as people think. Firstly, again, it's got, you know, pretty poor armor. Not only that, it's, although its turret is pretty solid, but not only that, it's it's got this big cupola that everybody likes to pen. With this tank, again, it's about making the move when you need to. Now, I was in VC on this one with my teammate, and I said, let's push their AMX 30B, let's get him out the game. 
because he's a danger. They have got other tanks there. I am going to take a lot of hits, but we're going to get rid of the 30B. And, and now we're going to try and use our mobility to get around these tanks. And that's exactly what I'm hoping to do here. And we manage it. So, and now this T-54 is in a world of pain. My, my two mate is going to come in in the back chat and finish him off. That will free us up to take on the E-50M. Now, he's going to put me on fire. That was a great shot by him. I'm going to weather that storm. And then I'm just going to sit around here. And this is what you need to do in these type of tanks, guys. You need to use the mobility. Again, play to the strengths, play to the weaknesses. And don't be always in a rush, unless it's a coordinated rush like we played here. Now, it does help that we were both on voice. That allows for that coordinated push. Nine times out of ten, if you're not on voice or you're not in a tune, then those coordinated pushes are going to be quite difficult because you got you know six other players doing what they want to do. The AMX 30B also has a pretty decent gun, not going to lie. It's very much a mixture between the Leo 1 and the STB, if I'm being honest. It's got that turret armor of an STB and the mobility on and the accuracy of a Leo, so it is quite nice. Admittedly, I'm going to screw up here because the 60, I'm going to bounce the 60, as you do, and then I'll take out the Emil. And then I'm just going to get absolutely bum rushed by the 60s because there are two of them. And, you know, this is the thing. You know, I'm being focused here by two 60 TPs. I'll get one shot into him and then the other 60 TP will take me down. Unfortunately, our Waffle Tractor decided that he didn't want to stay around. He wanted to go and kill other things, which is fair enough. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. And we win the game. I mean, we did 3K damage. We did our job. Okay, we... we we were in a good position. I mean, both these tanks are effectively uh, one shot and a two shot. The game's over. We did okay. And again, it was all about biding our time, making our move when we needed to make the move, and using the tank to the best of our ability. And that's exactly what we did. Again, we get a second class. We're not setting the world on fire. But, but we are winning games and we're dishing out damage. And that is the main thing. Don't get fixated on getting masteries, etc., etc. Win the games. Put yourself in positions to win games. That's the thing. And start using the tanks to the way they're meant to be played. Look at their strengths. Look at their weaknesses. Look at the characteristics and ask yourself the question, why do they have these characteristics? And then you will find out your best way to play them. Anyway. I've been feeding it and that has been both the Leo 1 and the AMX 30B. By all means, comment and everything below. Give me your thoughts, give me your tips, give me your hints. How do you play these tanks? What do you bring when you're trying to play them? Because I'm interested to know and I'm sure a lot of other people are as well. Anyway, until the next time guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.